The society was established in 1873 as the Sunderland and Durham County Incorporated Institute for the Blind. Initially, the work concentrated on home teaching of the scriptures, but it soon became clear that it was of little use to look after the spiritual welfare of blind people without making attempts to supply their most pressing material needs. A fund was established to provide assistance in cases of temporary sickness, to offer training in suitable industries, and to provide assistance in any other way necessary. Sunderland was one of the first, and possibly the first, local authorities to undertake the work of educating the blind, nine years before the Compulsory Education Act had been passed for blind children. In 1877, the first workshop for the blind was opened in Villiers Street, Sunderland, where mattresses, chairs, mats, baskets, brushes, bedding and hosiery were made. In more recent times, attention has been given to social and educational activities. In 2007, a questionnaire was sent to everyone registered as blind or partially sighted throughout the city of Sunderland in order to gather information to guide the society's business plan. The results of this have been incorporated into everything that the society now offers. These include support groups for people with particular eye conditions such as macular degeneration or retinitis pigmentosis, healthy lifestyle activities, IT mentoring, arts and crafts, counselling, befriending, visual awareness training, day trips and outings and so on. The Society currently employs seven members of staff and has a team of over 40 volunteers. Financially, the Society's annual turnover is usually between £170,000 and £200,000. Income is received through legacies, grants, donations, sponsorship and fundraising events. The Society has a long history of partnership working with Sunderland Eye Infirmary. The Society delivers the sight loss rehabilitation work on behalf of Sunderland City Council and employs two rehabilitation officers who provide sensory assessments, mobility training and independent living skills training. It has recently taken on a rehabilitation apprentice. Currently, the Society has expanded its work back into County Durham and has attracted a very high number of new members. A similar questionnaire has been sent out to all 3,500 people registered with sight loss and the responses indicate that people are requesting the same support that we offer throughout Sunderland. The Society has a contract with Durham County Council to deliver housing advice, benefits advice, counselling and IT to visually impaired people living throughout the county. Demand for services continues apace, particularly for IT mentoring and counselling. Currently, we have waiting lists in both Sunderland and County Durham. Building my confidence with the kin was one of the best things I did. At first I just didn't want to do it, then every week it came, I just learnt a bit more, a bit more. My confidence got a little bit better and better. Then after that, he passed it and let us do it myself, go anywhere myself, which I did. It wasn't, you know, you, you've got to explain to people how things are. But I got the independence back. In the meantime, it's just getting that confidence. Then I moved on to my first guide dog, Willow. And that was the best thing I ever, oh, it was a fantastic feeling doing my training with uh, Willow. The Society believes strongly in providing local services for local people. Its long history and involvement within the sight loss world throughout Sunderland and County Durham demonstrates its local knowledge and the trust and support it receives from so many service users. Currently, we have over 3,000 members. Well, the back end of last week, we got some fantastic news. Uh, an application we'd put into the National Lottery as a partnership with Hartlepool Vision Support and Newcastle Vision Support. We applied for £320,630. It got through stage one, we were invited to submit stage two and last week we were told we had been awarded the grant. And it's going to make such a huge difference because everything we do here depends on either fundraising or has been successful in looking for contracts. So the more we can attract, the more services we can provide.